So the other day I showed my current progress on the achievements at the end of a video. I'll link that video in the description if you want to check the list. But it has changed since then and there's been a few that I have uh, been going for deliberately but also have achieved accidentally. And uh, I, I asked in that video which ones would people like to see. So we're starting off with Platypus, which I guess isn't surprising given that uh, it was changed in a recent update. So previously when you sold a Platypus you would spawn a duck and a beaver, which meant that uh, it was essentially a free buy sell. You, would, you could get triple activation uh, from your cell pets, uh, things like um, uh, starfish and uh, buffalo. But now it also activates on faint, which opens up a lot of possibilities for it. Uh, obviously that means that you can also just hold the platypus for a turn and it's going to be a little bit more useful in battle um, if you just want to conserve gold. But it also means we suddenly now synergize with a whole load of other units. And uh, playing a, a dedicated summon pack is probably one of the easiest ways to win in customs. However, I wasn't going to make it easy for myself. Um, I rarely do. So we're going to try and go for as many different uh, platypus units as possible. Um, and maybe that's not the best way of wording it, but essentially what I wanted to do is have a platypus by itself, parrot copying the platypus, and then beluga with a platypus inside it. And uh, that's also a little bit awkward because we're going to end up, um, you know, we would end up wasting summons with that sequence if we had... Uh, doesn't matter which one we put at the front, we would end up losing uh, one of the spawns. So uh, for now we don't even have the platypus. Uh, we're just working on the parrot so that it's ready to go as soon as we do find it. Um, and the fact that, y yes, having the, the triple platypus setup is going to mean that we have a lot of summons. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be much, much weaker than if we were playing the other typical summon units. I'm not sure why I put the health there onto the uh, onto the parrot instead of buying the um, the waffle onto the octopus. Uh, I guess there are only two units that I'm keeping, so maybe it is better to do it that way. But yeah, we're, we're going to have a decent number of summons, but those summons are going to have no additional abilities. And a lot of the time, the strength of summon teams in customs is based on the fact that you've got stuff like Stork and Eagle that can produce another unit, uh, Spider as well, that can produce another unit that is going to be way better than simply spawning a tier one like the Platypus does. Uh, and so we get the Platypus here. Starting stats are terrible. The level two lobster does improve them somewhat. I was kind of hoping for blobfish or crow out of the stoat in order to try and get the platypus leveled a bit more quickly. But here the weight of summons aren't going to help us at all. We're just going to trigger the uh, dart frog multiple times and uh, end up losing. It's just a level one dart frog plus uh, pineapple but six damage um, when you have no protective equipment at all it can do quite a lot. So now we're looking for, yeah, I think here, maybe I should have bought sold the crow just to level up the octopus, but we end up rolling two at once and we get the grizzly bear, which is exactly what I was looking for. So as well as taking the suboptimal summoners with the multiple uh, platypus, we're also going to play probably the weakest of the uh, summon uh, tier sixes. Maybe that's debatable, but um, I think Grizzly, you rarely ever see anyone play it. Um, that doesn't mean it's not good, but I feel like it's generally good in the summon teams that are already uh, using the strong uh, summon pets. Stork, Eagle, Orca. The ones that can create loops, so you're not limited to only two summons per unit. And in theory here I could put uh, Mushroom on the uh, Parrot, then we would get one other spawn or I could move the platypus back to third position and then we would get uh, two more because it would uh, spawn at the front and we wouldn't have enough space for the uh, the second tier one um, but for now we're just working on leveling up the grizzly and then buying as many waffles as possible to try and compensate for the fact that our summon synergy just isn't that good however we also have to buy every platypus we see 
And I think I'm freezing the eggplant here because I am going to um, replace the strawberry on the parrot, which is now doing nothing. I think I bought that expecting to find another kiwi and uh, it didn't happen. Or maybe pelican was in the pack, I don't remember. But um, Grizzly's gonna do okay here, but uh, not a particularly strong opposing team. And because, because Grizzly um, works based off of attacks as well, the number of uh, triggers you get can vary quite um, wildly depending on which type of opponent you face. Uh, you know, there's some teams that are going to have a huge unit at the front, so they're just going to one-shot the Beluga. But there are others that are going to have um, a bunch of small units, and therefore you could end up with um, multiple attacks. Of course, here the Grizzly gets demolished by the start of Battle Snipes, so it actually doesn't matter at all. And um, we are going to tie, though, so a little bit fortunate to get away with that. Could probably do with um, some kind of protective equipment on the Beluga. And uh, although it does have high stats, you know, when you have teams like that that have Mantis Shrimp um, concentrating at, um, snipes onto the front unit, that 31 health can uh, evaporate pretty quickly. So I take the Garlic here since it was the only thing available to protect the Grizzly. Another snipe team, um, although the Beluga does survive, it does only get one attack off as a result of having its stats lowered by the Mantis Shrimp. And then uh, Onion, you don't see Onion a lot in uh, in Customs at all, but the Garlic is actually going to save us here. Uh, although maybe we would have won as a result of the spawns anyway. So seven wins, we do still need one level up on the Platypus. And yeah, I'm changing my mind on the, the Lemon because I really just want to find that chocolate sooner, sooner rather than later. I, I don't know why I don't freeze the Crow here because that would be you know, I could be saving that for an emergency at the end if I don't find any other way to level up the platypus. And then we could just um, roll with a, a four squad. Uh, this team is um, pretty big, although it's turn 15. You know, Bison plus uh, tier, one, uh, tier one level three unit and the dragon. Yeah, we're never going to keep up with that. Um, I think also Grizzly kind of is a whole lot better when you've got a uh, flea, you know, one up flea at the front or something like that, so that um, your summon units are doing more damage and they're also uh, uh, removing equipment so that people can't just uh, tank all the low damage attacks with, um, with lemon or garlic. And also you're messing up opposing summon teams, you know, removing um, uh, mushroom and so on. So here the pangolin gets replaced with eagle which is a, a massive upgrade. And um, I, I can't remember at this point if I decided whether or not I was gonna try and find another platypus. Uh, maybe one will show up in the shop, but I think here maybe, yeah, definitely freeze mongoose because we can get coconut and that would probably uh, increase the odds of finding, of um, the beluga getting multiple attacks off. It's not a guarantee because again, mantis shrimp will just remove the coconut woodpecker as well. But I am also looking for Tiger or, or Wolverine because I wouldn't mind um, increasing the efficiency on the Grizzly, which is usually only getting one or two attacks in. Another Peacock team. I was going to say this was a free-to-play opponent, but they have got um, Poodle there as well. And Peacock, as it tends to do, gets up to 50 attack. And uh, another Blowfish um, shooting back. And I think we are going to be okay. Yeah. Well, the Grizzly doesn't get to trigger the second time. And I could have put Grizzly at the back here, but um, I really just prefer um, not putting it at the back to kind of make sure that we don't auto lose to any of these um, teams that have like level 3 Crocodile, level 3 uh, uh, Tiger. It's perfectly possible at this kind of late stage turn 18 um, so here we actually get the Wolverine. So I'm going to buy sell the Mongoose for the Coconut, which hopefully will give an extra attack. Eventually I'm going to do it. There we go. And then bring in Wolverine, which is looking pretty exposed. The 4 HP, no one up at the back. However, we do roll the level up and the Mushroom. And then it's kind of an atypical team. You don't see this very often. A team that's progressed quite late with uh, Fire Ant, plus um, Pepper 
And uh, the eel at the back with 50 HP, it's going to take a hit, 15 damage hit from the grizzly. And the wolverine is the only survivor. So there we go. After quite a few attempts, a pretty suboptimal uh, summon team with platypus. But hopefully a little bit more interesting than just a uh, turkey or vulture or something. And then here are the bonus clips. So one of the games I was playing, I ended up rolling Sloth. Uh, it's happened quite a few times lately where I've been going for particularly uh, unusual teams. And then I get the Sloth. And here we face uh, Swordfish Donkey, which is quite funny. And they pull the Secretary Bird right to the front. And then the Betta Fish is actually going to break the Pepper. And it turns into a draw. So the Donkey in the end uh, didn't didn't really help too much there but now I mean I'm obligated to take the sloth so what do you do here and I think I think I sell Mosasaurus by sloth and then put mushroom on the betta fish so that I can pill it twice and with the fact that we have the secretary bird I mean that works out not too bad anyway so I think yeah we'll just pill it once already and then if we happen to roll another pill I will do it in the same turn in order to get the trigger. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna take the guaranteed stats from the uh, the pair. And again, I'm freezing Grizzly. I'm just committing to the team. I mean, I already have Slug and uh, Platypus, so we might as well just uh, go for the full thing. And then this is crazy here where I happen to then face this a skewer opponent. It's pretty uncommon to see. And the Sloth ends up just getting killed by the skewer and it's a one HP loss. So that, I honestly couldn't believe that there. And since we don't have a pill in the shop, I think I'm just going to go for the Grizzly now. Uh, we really need more firepower. And probably just instant level to it, or are we going to level to the Secretary Bird? Okay. Yeah, Eggplant on the Sloth to try and make it more useful. I don't think uh, Popcorn was in this pack. That would have been kind of amusing to have Popcorn on Sloth. I guess it just spawns a Tier 1 from the current pack. But then the matchmaking really isn't kind here and then immediately gives me an opposing team with Dolphin plus, um, what was it, Wolverine there. And they instant kill the Grizzly and the, uh, the Secretary Bird. So down to one heart. Um, we're just going to feed the Sloth because, um, yeah, it's not looking good. And next team, another team with... Uh, 50 50 or 50 attack peacock as a result of the ability um the test server has seen some more updates the last couple of days but uh, peacock sadly has remained unchanged and i think here yeah we lose the one up i don't think it's, it would have made any difference anyway because of the stats that they had stored in the warthog so unfortunate there but um i think that particular position i had very little chance of doing anything so this is kind of unrelated to the, the main run. However, this is another opportunistic uh, ribbon, level three ribbon for the swordfish. And this one I actually thought as I was playing it, I didn't really check the, um, in the top right corner, if you press the pack icon, you can then check in battle which achievements you still need. And uh, I didn't do that, I don't think. I wasn't sure if I already had a uh, cow or silk moth uh, or even Falcon, but uh, as it turns out, I had the whole lot. So the only one we're interested in here is Swordfish. And I can't remember if I even had the badge. Um, unfortunately, there the pretzel is not going to do much because um, we have the Silk Moth, but everything else is tier 4 or above. And then this team, we're just going to completely delete their uh, highest health unit. And then there's going to be a bit of um, chili versus chili back and forth here. However, with the level three cow, our health is just so high. And yeah, we can't actually buy that cow because we already have the level three. But rolling the waffle does immediately give us plus uh, 18 plus uh, 36, I think that was, onto the cat. And we get the level three swordfish right at the end. So next opponent it's a uh, level three skunk but actually the rest of their team is very low statted because they're using dodo plus lionfish which is kind of unusual this weekly had uh, an awful lot of people playing um 
cat plus uh, cow or just you know cat by itself and although that has high attack the lionfish just can't get over the the amount of health we got from the milk so that's another bonus achievement done if anyone who requested platypus last time wanted to request swordfish it's uh, no longer available